You could call it the Macho Man's Little Helper, the latest performance-enhancing drug to sweep the nation. Banned in professional sports, testosterone injections have become a magic bullet for men looking for more energy, more muscles, even a better sex life. But for some, the side effects can be dangerously unpredictable, so much so that police departments nationwide are now cracking down on their own officers. Here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. Chris Running has bulging biceps, washboard abs, two homes and four businesses, and still has time for walks on the beach and wine with his wife, Rebecca. Cheers. But he doesn't do it on his own. His secret, a little vial he injects into his leg twice a week, a tiny dose of the male hormone, testosterone. I couldn't run four companies at the pace I run without this program flat out. He is part of a new generation, a driven, successful man who doesn't mind shooting up to get an edge and stay young. In less than three years, he says testosterone has transformed him, stripping away 30 pounds of fat, building muscles that he never had, and sharpening his mind to the point that he says he has an absolute edge over the next guy. Successful business people want to be more successful, and I think if they knew how effective testosterone could be for them to have even more of an edge, they'd be all over it. T, as it's sometimes called, has quietly moved from the drug of shame in sports to something marketed by some doctors as a virtual fountain of youth for middle-aged men. Prescriptions have doubled in the last six years. You might have a treatable condition called low testosterone or low T. But there are possible side effects, blood clots, prostate cancer, impatience, and aggressive behavior. And it's that last side effect that is now setting off alarm bells in, of all places, some of the nation's largest police departments. It can basically cause you to make rash um, decisions, get angry. And when you're talking about someone who's carrying a gun, that's a pretty dangerous situation. Reporter Amy Britton with the Star Ledger of Newark uncovered a startling case. 248 police officers and firefighters from 53 agencies tied to a Jersey City physician giving out questionable prescriptions. In his first interview since the scandal, Jersey City Police Chief Thomas Comey says his officers were using testosterone to bulk up. When we looked at it, what we determined was there was a health concern for these officers. We are sanctioned by this government to carry a weapon and potentially use deadly force, so you'd like to make sure that that isn't impacted by a potential increase in aggression. His department is far from alone. We found police departments nationwide which have begun a new series of drug tests, no longer just for marijuana and cocaine, but for testosterone ratios and a variety of steroids. Amy Britton found a common theme among officers. We found that there was almost a sense of a need to feel stronger, faster, to have a better sex drive, to feel better about yourself. Testosterone is a naturally occurring hormone which diminishes with age. But here's the tricky part. Researchers we spoke to say normal testosterone levels fall into an incredibly vague thousand-point scale. But in many cases, doctors are putting enthusiastic patients near the top end of the scale, a hormone level that may feel good but with uncertain long-term effects. In San Francisco, Dr. Karin Power is a believer in testosterone. It is bioidentical, which means atom by atom it matches exactly what your body would have made on its own. Doctors who prescribe testosterone say the bad press is unfair, but in a strange way, also driving demand. So in that way, the, the, the press that the athletes um, shine on testosterone ends up driving men into the clinic for various other reasons. Yet the New England Journal of Medicine finds that only about 2% of men over 40 should be getting any boost at all. It's a statistic that some T users strongly disagree with. You know, why not feel as good as you can possibly feel? And I think it's as quite as simple as that. So if I have to, at some point, start taking growth hormone because it'll help me feel better and stay, you know, more fit and perform better, whatever that might mean at, you know, whatever age I'm at, then I'll, I'll certainly do that. A performance-enhanced lifestyle banned on the playing field, growing strong everywhere else. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in San Luis Obispo, California.